let us again look at uh, some examples on person pages. Uh, so we want to do uh, a few questions on uh, if a percentage of a quantity is given. Okay, so what, what the thing is, 10% of something is 54, and we want to find 100% basically. So let's write what's given. So it's given 10% of something is given to be $54. So now our question is, what is 100%? So the question is, what is 100%? So if you look at any question on percentage, or in fact any question in a proportional manner, you will find it quite easy. So I'm asking my question, asking the question, if 10% is 54 and if I want to find 100%, I'm asking the question, 10 goes in 100 how many times? So 10, well 10 times 10 is 100. So from 10, if you want to find 100%, you have to make this 10 times bigger. So you do the same thing to this number. So if you make this 10 times bigger, it's $540. So in other words, the answer is 540. In other words, 10% of 540 is 54. That's very obvious. Okay, now 15% of B is 90 kg then what's B? So the same technique, I'll write 15%. 15% is given to be 90 kg. Now from 15%, it's not very easy to think of 100%. Our ultimate goal is to find 100%. So well, can I find 5%? Okay, so yeah, so from 15% to find 5%, would you multiply or divide? Well, this is, you have to divide 15 by number to give you 5%. So I'm asking the question 15 divided by, because the number is getting smaller, so you have to divide. Okay, so 15 divided by what gives me 5? So 15, you should know the times table. So 15 divided by 3 gives you 5. So you do the same thing to this. So 90 divided by 3 would give you 5%, which is 30 kgs. Now from 5%, you can find, so let us do in two steps. So let us find 10%. So can I find 10%? So well, 5 times 2 gives you 10. So you do the same thing to this number. So 30 kgs times 2 gives me 60 kgs. So that is 10%. And from 10%, it's very easy to find 100%. Some of you can directly do from 10% to 100%. So 5 times, 100, 5 times 20 is 100. So this is times 10. So you do the same thing to this number. So times in it by. I have to cancel this. Uh, so I have to times this by 10, and that will give you 600 kgs. 600 kg is your answer. So 600 kg is the final answer. So you can do mental calculation, those who are good. Uh, to check your answer, it's always good to check. So 10% of 600 is how much? It's 60, so 5% is half of 10%, which is 30. So, so you can check your answer. So 15% is 90. So you can be happy with your answer. So this is absolutely right. Okay, let us look at the next question. 105% is 126 grams. So this is a bit tricky. So 105% is 126 grams. So I want to find 100%. So yeah, so can I find 5% from this? So for some of you, it may be a bit tricky. So you can go uh, uh, 105. Okay, or let us go the other way around. Okay, it doesn't matter. So let's go this way. So 105 divided by what gives me 5? So 
I want to find phi, so 105 divided by 100 divided by phi, so let me show that, 100 divided by phi is 20. 100 divided by phi is 20, and phi divided by phi, phi divided by phi is 1. Can you see what I'm doing? So I've split 105 into two groups. 100 I've divided by 5, that is 20, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 105 divided by 5 gives you 21. Okay, 105 divided by 5 gives you 21. This implies, I hope this is a bit tricky, this implies 105 divided by 21 gives you 5. So this is a bit tricky. Uh, manipulation so let me give you an other example okay i was not planning to do it like this but as it has come this far suppose if you know say so let us take an easy number 12 divided by 4 is 3 12 divided by 4 is 3 and so this implies you can also say 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So this is what I have done. So I have divided 100, 100 by 5, which gives me 20, and 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 105 divided by 5 gives you 21. How did I get 21? 20 plus 1 is 21. Now, but my question is, from if 105 divided by 5 is 21, then 105 divided by 21 should give you 5. So this is, should be divided by 21. So the same thing I have to do here. So divide this by 21. Okay, so yeah. So let me do without the calculator. I want to do without the calculator. So let me show how I can divide 126 by 21. So to 126, I can see this is divisible by 3. So this is 3 times what? 3 times 42 divided by 3 times 7. So this says 3 and 3 gets cancelled. Now 42, so this is 42 over 7. And 42 I can write as 6 times 7 over 7. So this is called prime factorization. So 7 and 7 gets cancelled. So this is nothing but 6. So 120, sorry, 126 divided by 21 is 6. So let me bring back my, so this is nothing but 6 kgs. Okay, now from this you can very easily understand this times 5 times 20 is 100. So I want to find 100%. So I have to multiply this by 20. This by 20, so 6 times 6 times 20 is 120 kgs. So this is, answer is 120 kgs. Okay, I think the last question, 110% is 44 dollars. Uh, 110% is 44 dollars. I'll not write the unit now. So can I find 10%? So that should be easy. So 10, 10 times what is 110? 10 times 11. I hope you know 10 times 11 is 110. So I can go backwards. So this implies, using this fact, can I say 110 divided by 11 gives you 10. So I'm going to divide this side by 10. Sorry, this side by 11 this side by 11. So 110 divided by 11 is 10. So I will do the same thing to this number. So I will divide by 11, which is $4. And from this I can find 100%, which is times this by 10, because this is 10 times 10 is 100. So 4 times 10 is 40. So this is $40, D is $40.